name is Alexandra Kobyłecka. I come from Łódź. However, at the age of 14, I moved to Warsaw to study there. I am currently in the first year of the IB program, uh, so the third year of high school. Uh, my higher level subjects are biology, chemistry, mathematics, and English language and literature. From a very young age, I have been passionate about science. Uh, to develop my interest, I attended extracurricular science classes organized by my schools as well as different universities. I achieved successes in several science competitions, which I further discussed in my motivation letter. In the future, I would like to pursue a medical career and I plan to become a transplant surgeon. The United States, uh, specifically the California State and Stanford University with its Institutes for Immunology, Transplantation and Infection are the center for the development of transplantology today. Um, Definitely one of the most part, one of the most valuable parts of the scholarship for me would be the visit in the Stanford Research Institute. This institution works on the development of surgical robots that could, could allow uh, for precision of uh, transplant surgeries that is today unattainable. Uh, it also uh, works on the development of new drugs, among which there are immunosuppressants, so the drugs that decrease the probability of organ rejection. I have recently visited the Department of Immunology of the University of Warsaw. However, the limited access to technological innovations there does not allow for such discoveries as the ones made in uh, Stanford Research Institute. In my future medical career, I would like to focus on xenotransplantations. So the transplantations between different species, for instance, a pig and a human. Genetic modifications are needed to create a pig whose heart and other organs could be transplanted to humans. Stanford University has excellent genetic professors by talking to whom I could expand my knowledge of genetics that I have already developed while writing essays for DNA Day essay contests. The scholarship would give me the opportunity to make, meet inspirational scientists. I believe that by seeing their work, I could gain a better understanding of scientific work uh, than the one I have already gained thanks to my uh, experimental biology classes. Um, I, um, furthermore, I know that the Stanford University uh, works closely with the Silicon Valley to allow quick application of, um, of uh, technological innovations in medical practices. I believe that the visit in both of these institutes would allow me to uh, see what are the links between medicine and technology and how medicine is likely to change in the following years thanks to technological advances. Uh, in the future, I would like to work and study in the United States. Uh, as the country would give me the opportunity to develop not only in the field of surgery, but also in the fields of immunology, genetics, and biotechnology. The scholarship would allow me to see the institutes in which I am likely to conduct my future research, whose results I deeply hope will help many people around the world. I consider myself a person with diverse interests. Apart from medicine, I am also deeply passionate about literature and Roman languages, mainly French. Uh, this year, I was awarded a second prize in French language and literature competition in Poland. In comparison to European countries, the United States is an extremely culturally diverse country. To see and to feel that a multicultural atmosphere of San Francisco would be a one of a kind experience for me that would allow me to get to know better different cultures and to expand and to improve my foreign languages uh, speaking skills. Um, I would like to study at an American university as the program of education there would allow me to study not only medicine as my major, but also literature and Roman languages, so French, Spanish, and Italian as my minors. And Stanford University located in California is my first choice as apart from an excellent level of medical studies, it also offers a variety of literature courses. I believe that Queen Hedwig scholarship would be an 
a significant step in my personal development. I know that the visit in the Silicon Valley and the Stanford Research Institute would allow me to see uh, new technological innovations and new research projects that are likely to change medicine soon. I would also like to discover California to see the diversity of the state and the opportunities that the American educational system offers. Thank you. Thank you, Alexandra. That, that sounds like a good time management. <laughs> now it's time for our questions and I will start from Mr. Tomasz. Great. First of all, I'm impressed with your with your presentation. Very nice flow, um, good smile, um, and then good balance uh, between what you wanted to say and and then the the pleasant uh, presentation. Um, the, the first question I would have is uh, you you mentioned in your motivation letter um, that you are one of the leaders or or the leader of uh, the event called uh, Warsaw Science Slum. So mm -hmm. I would have two questions for you from, from that perspective. First, what does it mean to be a good leader uh, based on your experience in that project? And second question would be, um, what is the most challenging in talking to sponsors? Because you mentioned in our application mm -hmm. that you are also uh, gathering the finance for the project. So what is the most challenging to talk to, to the sponsors and how you deal with that? Thank so you. being a leader of the group of the organi group organizing Warsaw Science Slam has been a great challenge for me and I have learned a lot. Uh, and I believe that in being the, a leader of a, a group, it's essential to maintain good relations uh, between uh, members of the group, but at the same time to be um, to keep discipline because it's really hard to balance that out, to have a good atmosphere in the group and to have discipline. So I try to be, um, I try to be uh, very organized and I try to set deadlines for every member of the group and try to um, make people keep that deadline so that everything is well organized. And in talking to, when talking to sponsors, I mainly focused on describing uh, our event um, as an event that promotes science, that promotes young, um, young, uh, young ambitious people, and uh, I mentioned all the uh, aims that we have in organizing that event and what that event would bring to our society, to young people, to young ambitious people who want to pursue a career in science, as I do. And uh, I believe that um, by describing all the positive sides of the event and all the aims that we had while um, like uh, while uh, planning to organize that event, we could uh, we will well, we managed to gain sponsors. Is it easy? Uh, it's not easy, but we weren't giving up and we uh, wrote uh, numerous letters to different sponsors and uh, we had to think uh, thoroughly about what we want to uh, uh, keep in that uh, letters to sponsors to present the, our event from the best side positive. Okay, thank you very much. That's, that's all from me. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Ja. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Alexandra, uh, you are a great student for sure. Uh, tell me what is so attractive in the Stanford Research Institute? Uh, so I uh, browsed through like the researches that they were doing and I saw that there were they were uh, uh, using many technological innovations in their research. So it's a completely different level of, uh, of research uh, than in Poland, for example. And I loved how they try to expand what we already know about medicine and about science and try to look for new solutions and for expanding, for example, transplantology, which is like the transplant surgery, which is my, my area of interest. And I also read about uh, some amazing scientists, some of which are, are Nobel Prize laureates that work with Stanford and Stanford Research Institutes. And I believe that a place where all these amazing scientists who have a lot of knowledge could gather and they could together work on new projects is really valuable for the, uh, develop, for the development of medicine and other sciences. Okay, and how, how you want uh, the knowledge that you hope to gain uh, at studies uh, in the United States, how, how you want to use it uh, in Poland, uh, in the European Union, in, in the US? Uh 
no, I actually mentioned that I want to work in the United States because I believe that uh, the United States is one of very few uh, countries that has so many research facilities that has uh, science uh, on such a good level. All the new technologies, they come from the United States. So they're, they're uh, very quickly applied in uh, all the sciences, also medical sciences. And I believe that uh, in order to pursue my dreams of developing the area of xenotransplantations, I have to move to the United States because it's a place that gives me the best possibilities and the best uh, facilities, the best equipment to develop uh, to develop that branch of medicine. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Alexandra. I would like to ask you uh, a question. How do you imagine that transplantology in tw in twenty years? How it will look like? So I believe that the uh, use of robots will be extremely crucial in the next uh, years because, as I said earlier, robots allow for precision. But mainly, what I also thought about a lot is uh, how we we as human beings, as, as doctors, uh, how me as a future doctor could uh, contribute to the discovery of the method of transplanting human brains. And I believe that the use of technology to achieve that would be crucial because currently the problem with brain transplants is uh, to connect nerves. And I believe that the use of technologies may allow to connect um, nerves and that may give us the opportunity to, uh, for example, uh, say, uh, people, uh, safe life of people who are terminally ill. And I believe that uh, maybe uh, transplantology maybe will not uh, make people immortal, but it will definitely be a significant step in achieving that. And I also believe that uh, there won't be a, a problem with donors because currently there is a problem with donors. But as I said, um, xenotransplantations uh, give us the opportunity to use uh, genetically modified animals to um, to to use their organs to um, uh, transplant them to humans, and that will solve the whole problem of uh, the lack of donors in the world. Okay, thank you very much. And and the last questions to you is: This is a very unique opportunity. This is a very unique program. So, why we should like decide that you should go to Silicon Valley among these talents that we have over here? Uh, so I believe that I would be a perfect candidate to go to the Silicon Valley because the uh, technological advances of this area uh, are just in line with all of my interests and would give me this amazing opportunity to, uh, to expand my knowledge, not only in medicine, but also in technology that will soon be uh, essential for the development and already is essential for the development of medicine. And I also promise that I will prepare myself the best I can to gain as much from uh, the uh, experience as possible. I will try to uh, read about the places. I, would, I will try to ask questions. And I uh, believe this would be just such a unique opportunity for me. And I will try to do my best to uh, if I got that opportunity. Okay, thank you very much. Now it's time for feedback and I will start from Mr. Tomas. Uh, Alexander, I already mentioned about um, uh, what, what I liked, what I could add now after um, the, 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 the Q&A session is that I like the, the way you manage the, uh, the, the responses. Um, it seems that you, 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 you know exactly what, what you wanted to say uh, and I really liked it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Alexandra, you are very passionate. Uh, and, uh, you have a great time management, uh, so you are excellent. If you could just expose more uh, sharing with others uh, and the benefits of uh, of, uh, of this collection, that that would be great. Alexandra, from my side, it was it was a real pleasure to listen how you speak, and um, I will just say the same that uh, you've got a huge passion for what you are doing, and I believe you will be really great doctor. Thank, Thank you, you very much. That's all from our side. Thank you very much. Dziękujemy bardzo. Dziękujemy. Dziękujemy.